Now, most jobs nowadays are advertised online. Before you get there, you need to be online to finish assignments just to get qualified. Now, students and graduates may miss out on opportunities simply because they don't have access to the internet or miss those all-important deadlines. Now, businesses seem to be coming up with better solutions than the good old internet cafe because everything comes at a cost, doesn't it? Let's find out more now from Nafisa Akabur from a recharge.co.za, our regular tech guru that we speak to every two weeks or so when a very, very busy schedule allows. Nafisa, thank you so much for your time uh, this morning. We'll talk a little bit more about your travels in a little while. But let's start our conversation this morning about um, uh, innovation that both of us are very, very excited about just because of the massive impact we know it will have. Tell us more about Tech Market's laptop library that they have launched, a first in South Africa. Yeah, so Tech Market is actually located at the Rosebank Mall. They are a, a tech store that allows you to buy new accessories, new laptops, new technology, but they also have an aspect where you can trade in your laptop for a new one. So what they've done with all these laptops that come in, they decided to start the laptop library and rent them out. So they're obviously targeting students and uh, people who don't have access to laptops temporarily. If you had your stuff stolen, you can go and rent the laptop just like how you would a library book but just for a nominal deposit of 500 rand that's completely refundable that really sounds like something that could have a massive impact uh, why has tech market decided to do this they just thought it's their way to contribute back to the community and support students because um, who are facing financial difficulties we know that technology the prices are going up things are not cheap anymore so it's just to bridge that gap and really in a South African society, you see something like that and you think, oh, are we going to get the laptops back? It's really great to see a business really put their faith out there, knowing that they're really doing a good thing. Yeah, I think it's mainly the laptops that have been traded in. So they are still usable. They've put uh, the Microsoft Office suite on them. Some of them are Chromebooks, some of them are Windows. So it just depends what the student needs for the time, for the week. Now, on to more glamorous matters, <laughs> or, 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 or that's what we see it as. You see it as work. You've just returned from Seoul in Korea, where you got to get some first-hand experience with the new Samsung Z Flip 5. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, because internationally they probably said Z Flip 5, because it sounds um, sexier. What did you get to experience in Korea? Yeah, it was Samsung's first event in their home country, so it was a big deal for them. But um, we got to experience the new folding devices. Um, we, we know Samsung has been on this journey for a while. We're on Z5, uh, Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 now. Um, it's interesting to see how the technology has progressed over the years. And they're finally focusing more on the user experience now. So with the Z Flip 5, which got received the biggest update, which is the large 3.4-inch uh, cover display, I think with folding folds, uh, phones now, it's all about the cover display and what you can do without flipping it open unnecessarily. So yeah, they, they, they made the experience better. And um, I think it's a quite uh, a, a very uh, interesting update, which makes it super useful. What surprises me about this innovation is that when I saw these, these fancy new flip phones coming back out, I thought, I I'm sure this is just a novelty thing. It's like a bit of a throwback. Uh, a few of the younger kids who didn't get to experience flip phones back in the day, like when we had those Ericsons that had, had those little flaps on it, perhaps this is something cool and trendy for them to have for now. But it seems like Samsung, a major player in this field, has really, really gone into this hard, obviously a market for it. Yes, so it did start off as being a nostalgic thing. We all were so excited to play with it. It was cute. But they now, it, it's a serious thing. It's uh, gaining market share, although quite small, because um, Samsung seems to be the biggest player right now. But I think it's catching on. People are realizing the folding screen technology is improving. They're fixing the little niggles. Now the, the, phone, fold, phone, <laughs> the phone folds completely flat, <laughs> so there's no gap. It's not attracting dust. So you can see, like if you were on the fence, I think with the Flip 4, the Flip 5 will definitely convince you, hey, this is now something you can seriously consider. Um, more, most importantly, what price point are they putting this out at? So yeah, that's the thing. So the Fold 4 <laughs> was 21 triple nine. The Fold 5 with its larger 3.4 inch display makes it 29 triple nine. So that's 30,000 Rand for the folding phone. It, it's quite a lot of money. 
But if that's your thing, that's your thing, and you'll find the money for it, I suppose. Otherwise, they wouldn't be making these things. Um, and now on to this, uh, and a far more practical expenditure, if you ask me, even though also still pricey. Um, this robot vacuum, I'm not even going to try and say the name, but it has, you, it has a self-emptying dock. Tell us about the robot vacuum and how it can change your life. <laughs> So yes, I've been testing the Xiaomi Robot Vacuum X10 Plus. It's the most premium robot vacuum. I have played with previous ones in the past that were just very basic. So the self-emptying dock means that this robot does everything on its own. It doesn't need human intervention. It even empties the dust from the robot vacuum <gasps> into the dock. So yes. <laughs> Um, I think it holds about 60 uses. So for almost two to three months, depending on how frequently you vacuum your house <laughs> per week, you never have to come into contact with the dust. And that is so major because whether you have kids, pets, allergies, you don't really want the dust in your face, you know, so it, mm. it, it's brilliant. Now, I'm going to admit we're looking at visuals of this vacuum now. I only know this vacuum from those cute videos where people put their cats or their babies on these vacuums and they let them scoot around uh, for a little bit. But this technology seems to really be taking on. These things actually do clean. It's not just a novelty. So, no, it's not a novelty. Um, you or you get uh, robo vacuums in different price points, whether it's entry, mid or high end, depending on the size of your home, what your needs are whether you need to vacuum just twice a week or every day. The, I believe there is something for everyone and it really takes away the time. If you can automate and schedule your chores, why not? <gasps> if we have load shedding and you, you're getting an 8 a.m. slot, you just schedule your robot vacuum at 7.30 a.m. and you wake up to your clean house. You don't even have to get out of bed to schedule the vacuum, basically. Nafisa, you're going to make people sell things in their homes just so they can afford this thing because I'm, I'm the person who does the vacuuming in the house and it's... I really need to work myself up to do it. A, B, I need to make sure the toddler is not in the house at the time because she doesn't like the sound. And I just need to have the will to do it. And therefore, it doesn't get done often. And that is a problem because dust is with us, especially in Johannesburg. So when you say this thing is life changing, it really is because you've used it. Yes, it's so seamless. You don't have to think twice about it. If I feel my office is dusty before I go in, I just let it do a quick uh, vacuum and mop. And so the thing about these vacuums, they are so powerful. It's going to be, even if I try to attempt to sweep it, it'll never be as good as what this vacuum can do. I, as a human, I can't compete with this robot vacuum. So why should I waste my time doing chores when I can just automate it? <laughs> so what kind of price point are we talking about? Because the Xiaomi robot vacuum of times 10 with the self-emptying dock is obviously top of the line. But you say there's something for everybody. Yeah, so this particular model is about 19,000 Rand. But you do get entry-level ones around three and a half, four thousand 4,000 Rand starting. <sighs> Well, you can see interesting conversations happening in households watching us right now saying, you know what, do we really need the latest PlayStation so and so? Why don't we just invest in a robotic vacuum and we'll make everybody's life simpler? Now, Fisa Akabo, it's always a pleasure chatting to you. We'll talk to you again, hopefully after you've been to another exotic destination for the latest innovative releases in the world. Thank you so much for your time. Now, Fisa Akabo is from recharged.co.za. Please go and check out our website and indeed sign up for a newsletter. You'll have some fascinating things um, to read about there every week.